BlueScale is the common operating system across all Spectrologic T-Series libraries. Each library has a full color touchscreen on the front panel that displays the exact same interface we are looking at remotely. Not only are the interfaces common like this, they are also common across all our library models. The T120 through Tfinity have the exact same interface, whereas the T50E's front panel is a little smaller and we had to move some of the icons around. But all the options are exactly the same we are going to see here. After logging into the interface, we're immediately going to see the general status screen. This is a great place to find out how your library is doing. All the components on this one are green, indicating everything's in good working order. If any component had an issue, it'll be highlighted in red. Moving the mouse over each of these components will show us that item so we can see more details about it. Looking on the left-hand side of the GUI, we find the menu used to navigate the interface. Let's work our way down from the top. Clicking on Inventory shows us the inventory of a partition. All T-Series libraries support partitioning, which allows us to divide the physical resources among multiple logical libraries. Should the need arise, you can move tapes inside the library from this screen. Let's go ahead and move a tape and watch the robot do the work through the BlueScale Vision camera. With the BlueScale Vision camera, we can look inside the library and see the operations. Here, we can watch a terra pack get pulled out by the robot, a tape get removed, and move to another terra pack. This could be done to load a drive or prepare tapes for export. Continuing down the left hand side is metrics. We can look at a lot of information here such as drive performance or power consumption of the library. These can be great tools when troubleshooting questions or issues with your environment. Media lifecycle management is Spectra's solution to make media much more reliable. Health scores are calculated for each piece of media in the library based on an advanced analytical system. When using Spectra certified media, close to 40 data points are tracked on each tape, providing a robust proactive tool to predict media issues before they happen. Configuring a T-Series library is an easy task. It starts with creating partitions. Each partition is assigned dedicated tape drives and storage slots. A cleaning partition can also be created to hold cleaning media to allow the library to use AutoClean to clean itself. Drive lifecycle management tracks the health of each tape drive. Similar to MLM, DLM is able to determine if a drive is close to having a problem. Wouldn't it be great to know before you go home for the weekend if a drive might fail in the middle of the job? Now you can replace that drive before you go home and before it fails. System configuration allows you to set the network, time, and all the other basic administrative settings of a library. MLM has several configuration options. You can configure alert if a tape has been mounted in a different library, potentially letting you know if someone tried to read your data when the tape was off-site. If you enable auto discovery, the library will utilize idle time to determine the health of newly imported media. Blackout periods can be enabled for post-scan operations. PostScan is part of Spectra's data integrity verification capabilities. These scans can check the integrity of the data written to tape without involving the host at all. Long-term archive data can be scheduled for a periodic scan, say every six months. Let's move on to the maintenance section. Here, you can use Package Update to update the BlueScale software on your T-Series library. There are also tools for advanced support tasks you'll use with support if you need to. One area customers like quite a bit is auto support. In auto support, you can have a new service ticket open with the click of a mouse, including all the logs needed to solve the problem. No more waiting on hold only to be asked to collect logs. Security is the last section of the interface we're going to look at. Each user of the library can be given a user account, allowing you to audit their use of the library. Data security is extremely important these days, so encrypting data on removable media is a requirement. BlueScale Encryption Key Management is integrated directly into BlueScale and the library. Here you can create, manage, and delete encryption keys. Without the key, the tape has no accessibility. This wraps up our quick tour of the BlueScale interface on the T950. If you'd like any more information or details about the advanced features we looked at today, please talk to your Spectralogic representative or visit spectralogic.com.